uh, let's talk you uh, about uh, and uh, another rumors from the New York Knicks. For example, uh, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brunson, uh, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, and uh, other rumors uh, uh, in New York now. Do, do you do you can talk about about these rumors uh, from the Knicks? Ah, the the big one is Donovan Mitchell. That's the big one. You know, uh, his the, his coach Quinn Snyder he quit. You know, they have a new GM. They have Danny Ainge. They're, that's their new president GM. So everything is new over there. So Danny Ainge is a little cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Ainge, <you> know? <laughs> so Danny Danny Ainge, he can make a trade and he can get rid of this guy, this guy, you know. So you know, I, I don't, I really don't know. But um, the Knicks, the Knicks, they do have a shot. They have a shot at Donovan Mitchell, but Donovan Mitchell have, will have to say, "I want to go to the Knicks," and then Utah will have to say, "Okay, you know, we'll try, we'll try to do it for you," you know, like like that. Yes. You know, so uh -huh. they will have to do a favor, you know, do a favor for each other. Like that, so uh, you know that, that's the reason why we got Leon Rose. Leon Rose used to be an agent, so they know how to play the game. So maybe you, uh, he helps Utah. You know, Utah helps the Knicks, and then and then the Knicks help Utah later. You know, like that. You know, so you know maybe something like that. But Jalen Brunson, I think I I don't think he's gonna come to the Knicks. I think um I think Dallas can pay him the most money, and he has a role in Dallas right there with with Luka Doncic. So if if it was me, I would stay with with Luka Doncic. You know, the, the, I think that's the best place for for Brunson because then you know now you have one two punch there, and then you can build around those guys. If, if he leaves um, Dallas, you know he's gonna go to to unknown. You know, and and if he comes to the Knicks, the Knicks will have to trade. You know, and I you know are we gonna overpay for for Brunson because Brunson is not Donovan Mitchell. Yes, you know exactly. Exactly. So you, you don't exactly. pay Brunson 30, 30 million. <laughs> it's you complicated. Know? It's complicated. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, you but, uh, your 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 father, your father, na, uh, Rick Brunson. Uh, he has a father, big <laughs> father, son. Mm. It's a job. Oh, or... No, it's a job. You know, Brunson, Brunson, uh, Rick Brunson, he needs a job. So he's he's going to to work with um Tom Thibodeau. But, but you you know the rumors about Jalen Brunson after Rick Brunson come to the Knicks. Oh, I don't know. Because uh, you know, Rick Brunson, he had an interview, uh I think it was on TNT. With Ernie Grunt, or Ernie, um, you know Ernie, uh, what it was it, uh, Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith, they were talking about Rick Brunson, and uh, Jalen Brunson said that Rick Brunson was was uh, he wasn't a good player, you know, and they were laughing and stuff like that. So I think Jalen Brunson wants to stay away from that. He wants to stay away from the Knicks legacy with Rick Brunson and stuff like that. I think Jalen Brunson wants to create his own path. So I, I'm not sure if he would come to the Knicks in that way. It, it's possible, but we would have to make a trade, though, so, and that that's what makes it very complicated. Uh, I I hear about uh, D'Angelo Russell too. Uh, do you hear about this rumor too? D'Angelo Russell? Yeah. Yes. You know, uh, New Yorkers. In, uh, yeah, in New York, uh, no, I, nobody likes D'Angelo Russell. <laughs> in uh, New York, uh, you? I I don't like to. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you yeah, know, in, I don't in like Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, he played good. Yes, right? he played good in Brooklyn. Yes, <laughs> I but... agree. I agree, but um, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I prefer I prefer in draft to do uh, than the Angel Russo come to the Knicks, man. Yeah. Really, I agree, because it, it has to do with personality. You know, uh, uh, you know, D'Angelo Russell. He's a little, a little flaky. You know, he's a little little cuckoo, you know. So you know, you, you have Emmanuel quickly is very strong minded. Uh, Obi Toppin is very strong minded. Even even um Julius Randle is pretty strong minded, but D'Angelo Russell he's kind of like, you know, kind of flaky. So I don't I don't think it it matches personality wise. You know, I don't uh, think it matches. I agree. So, 
Yeah. And, and Michael Bro and Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, do you do you uh, do you uh, hear about the this rumor too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do do you do you uh, do you think about this chance? Uh, Malcolm Brogdon come to the Knicks. I I I doubt. About I doubt this. it too. But you know, if if Tom Thibodeau was the GM, I think Tom Thibodeau would try to get on Brogdon. Because Tom Thibodeau likes he likes the tall point guards. Yes, you know? he yes. likes very tall point guards. So I think if Tom Thibodeau was the GM, he would try to get Bron he would try to get Brogdon definitely. You know, but you know, it, Brogdon is a good player, but he's always hurt. You know, he's always hurt. You know, he um he has problems with his hip, he has problems with his knees and things that, like that. So and and he's getting old too. He's starting to get older. So that's it's very dangerous to. But on the, on the other hand, the Knicks have a lot of contracts. So the Knicks have to get rid of some of these contracts in order to uh you know make it small, make consolidate to consolidate the players. You know to to, to make them smaller. So so you know you got Kemba Walker, you got uh, Fournier, you got Nerlens Noel. You, the Knicks have to get have to get rid of them. You know so if they trade for for Brogdon. You know, Brogdon makes a lot of money, so th they can um trade maybe two two for one or three for one, you know, and then make the roster smaller. You know that that could work, I think. E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! <música>